Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Super Sinister Free. Last episode, we tackled Pharaoh Silicon and Magan Manganese. Uh, I said it wrong on my last episode. <laughs> we'll fix that. Okay. Ark, we have this Aqua Region. No. It's Aqua Region. You're right. But what we need today is to make the, um, uh, uh, Pharaoh Silicon. Oh. But we also need to make Pharaoh Chromium. Uh, what the heck? And that all goes together to make stainless steel. All this goes together. Carburized this and this. Uh, the thing we needed last episode that we made automatically is the OPIC circuit. As you can see, we have an OPIC wafer. All we need to do is saw, just saw this. Yeah, we gotta cut that in half. Nice, we gotta give that some time. While that's happening, I will collect my ferrochromium from here. No, ferrosilicon. I don't have chromium yet, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do uh, tungsten with, or er, not tungsten. What am I even saying? The one stuff with that. <laughs> but ferrous silicon's done. We are on the approach for high voltage. We are very quickly approaching high voltage. We have quite a few machines we need, however. We need the pressure swing absorber, the vacuum distillation tower, and. Oh, I actually, no, we don't need that. We don't even need. It's for. Gallium arsenide. I think our OPIC should be done so we can make the next thing, which we're going to need for the gigantic forge. But we do need a source of nitrogen. And this time, ammonia won't cut it. Now, let's go and discuss what we're doing. Uh, basically, for the. what is it called? Stainless steel, correct? We need carburized stainless steel. This requires 240 EU ticks. EU per tick. Um. And to get that, you need these, which is why we need OPIC. We'll save all we'll on these. Now we need to do a run of steel and also take care of the pressure swing absorber. A run of aluminum, I mean, I mean, it's not steel, it's not steel, we're making aluminum. Uh, get it right. Alright, so we're gonna do two stacks of aluminium through the metal bender, and then, like, um, another stack through the lathe. I think that's enough. I don't wanna figure that out. Okay, I'm not gonna do math. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that this quantity is perfectly sufficient, then we'll give us a little bit extra for future pressure swing absorbers. Now, I'm not gonna do the full stack, I wanna do like a partial amount, so we'll go ahead and do like a... I don't even know what number that is, 36? Okay, now it's time to make the pressure swing absorber. 18 of them, that's that's not very much, but uh, that should do. I, I think that might actually be enough. Not certain. But if I had to guess, that gives us 36. That's more than enough. Okay. Pressure swing absorber. Holy crap, look at those pipes. Those are some of the, some of the most beautiful pipes I've ever seen. Those are uh, large aluminum pipes. And also, it's going to try to consume our other circuit. Where did they go? I thought I had those very expensive MD circuits here. I don't believe we use those. I... I think I may have accidentally used the very expensive MV circuits for something. Oh, I know what they went to. Okay, good. I was I was very worried for a second that I might have accidentally made a medium voltage machine and used those. But I know where they went. I'm not too worried. Okay, we need to make one, two, three of Ah, oh, what the heck? Give me the right pipe here. There we go. One, two, three then. Then, time for pumps. Pumps are easy to make, don't worry. These guys, uh, and now we could make them probably with, oh, something else. Now, never mind. One, two, three, four. Boom. Then, what is the next stage? Well, I don't know. Oh, we need to make advanced circuits. Ah, oh, I need a steel pipe. Well, that's, uh, that's no problem. Just give me a second and I can assemble that right quick. One, two. Nice. That should be the pumps done. We've crafted over 9,000 items on this crafting station. That is insane. And checking our statistics, we have over 4.45 days worth of time into this. Holy crap. That's insane. It's more than... It's, that's actually insane. And here's where we get bottlenecked. One, two, three, four of those need to go into here. Because this guy is going to make us the wonderful things we need. And we need to replenish Nan chips, so make sure to do that. I restocked our diodes, which makes everything much easier. I'm sure the pressure swing absorber will be done soon, which means we need the hatches. It's gonna be quite nice. We're gonna need one fluid input, 
and two fluid outputs. I now have the pressure swing absorber quest done. Quite nice. We're also gonna need a funny machine called a gas collector. It has been a very long time since we made one of these, and I think that's it right there. Requires a fluid filter. Oh no, I've run out of zinc plates. Well, don't worry, I can I, I mean brass plates. Brass plates, yeah. These guys are absolutely painful, don't worry. We'll make more brass at some point. I need to restock brass. That should be the gas collector done, and then we just need to make a bunch of those uh, input hatches again. I feel like every episode for the past few episodes, we've just been making input hatch after input hatch for energy. And these I don't like making very much because, well, I just don't like making them. I have a grudge against them. Alright, so those power thingies are in progress. It's time to make an input hatch for items. This is actually called an input bus for some reason. The buses and hatches are two different things. Yet I always call them the same thing. I don't really care. That's just how I feel about them. Alright, let's go and do this. This is for the zeolite catalyst, which we now have to make zeolite. We are going to set up the pressure swing absorber somewhere on this line. Probably here, as there's not really much here, and uh, it just fits, fits perfectly. Now, if you were not aware, this is one of my favorite machines of all time. I like the way it looks, it's very blue. So this gas collector will input air into this input hatch, which will allow the pressure swing absorber to run. We now connect it to the energy grid, and complete the structure, which looks like a big ol' EBF, with no coils, and all made of aluminum. Now that we've done all the maintenance work, we gotta make a zeolite catalyst, zeolite membrane. Uh, these are quite interesting to make. We gotta make zeolite 13x dust, and uh, requires autoclave and distilled water. The zeolite 13x dust can be made by drying. Zeolite 13 times solution made from autoclaving, raw molecular sieve, and clay dust. We could dry 4,000 liters of that for eight of these, and we only need a few for the auto We only need four for the autoclave. Now, we have molecular sieve in the thing here. Now, I think we can mix this up into what we need it to be, which is going to be the, um, you know, we just mix this with water. I think it works. So, does this guy auto output or something? No, that guy does auto output. What is this guy auto? What is this guy doing? He's got sulfuric acid. This guy's for dye. Okay, never mind. You can't mix this guy with water to get back molecular sieve. Uh, you, you don't do that. <laughs> we gotta make it all over again. Okay, it's made with sodium silicate solution and the uh, sodium aluminum dust. Made with, um, battery-acted uh, aluminum and sodium hydroxide. We already have sodium aluminum. That's good. That's good. Sodium hydroxide, steam, and the uh, silicon dioxide. Should have silicon dioxide over here. Never mind, not at all. Well, I guess we could always do the lapis method. We just take all the lapis out and, uh, and just get it started again. So running quartz sand through here, you actually have to do it twice. Uh, I bet we could run Sardis quartz dust through there too. Let's see if that does it. And uh, no, Sardis quartz is, is sad. It's, oh, but we don't need much. We just need like four. I heard the aluminum line running. That means we're gonna be running out of power in every section of the base. You know your engineering's good when it consumes all of your energy. That's how we know we've succeeded so far. Especially since half the time when I'm walking through this room, the machines are off. But right now, they're somehow on. And they've chosen to be on. Which is good. We like our machines here to be free. Okay, we need to use an autoclave to make this. And this guy here is our perfect autoclave. We need to take sodium aluminate, a sodium silicate, and combine them together. Oh dear, they both have water in them. Well, that's that's not gonna work, I don't think. I don't want to have to make another autoclave. Well, that's fine. I'm sure I can uh, afford to make this. Uh, I mean, look, we got seven of these. We started out yesterday with seven of them. No, not seven. Thirty of them. Holy crap, we've done a lot. Alright, we should be able to make the autoclave now, because we got a pump. So, this is it. And then we just gotta hook that up somewhere. Probably upstairs. Because we have all that power, and nothing to do with it. Which spaghetti monster do we connect this? Don't connect it to that one, it will explode. But we connect it to this guy, I think, and it should be fine. Now, I believe it's equal parts sodium aluminate to dilute sodium silica solution. Well. You don't need a thousand of these, you only need four. To your four thousand liters of sodium silicate. 
This gives us raw molecular sieve. Okay, now all we have to do is add this wonderful clay dust into the autoclave. Run this back through with molecular sieve that gives us our zeolite 13 times solution. Now, unfortunately, the combine cycle gas turbine is apparently mandatory. Although we already have two of them, and we also have a steam turbine. This is insane. Why? The only reason we don't have this is because we did not do anything with biodiesel or desulfurization. Now, to make the zeolite part, we need to dry it out on a basic dryer. Which drying yields around 8 catalyst, or 8 powder. I'm not sure if it's catalyst or powder. No, it's not really catalyst. It's not a catalyst at all. It's not a- it's a, a membrane. It's what it says. Membrane. Yeah, it's zero like 13 times. But we need to make the membrane support, which is literally just some aluminum wire. Ran on the third setting. Nice. Believe it or not, aluminum is one of the most conductive metals. It's, it's insane to think that, because I've never actually managed to- well... I don't know. Aluminum foil is conductive, but aluminum cans don't seem to be. That's very disappointing. I think my aluminum can should be able to conduct a thousand volts of electricity instantly. Alright, and making the membrane support should take no time at all. Let's uh, literally just hold this big net of wire. Now, I think we need to add stuff to this, right? Alright. And that requires an autoclave for, for those in the thousand liters of distilled water. However, I do have more solution to make. I need to make more zeolite. I must always make more zeolite. Let's make a little bit more, and then we'll be done. Uh, just in case. You know. Or future-proofing here. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't need to get distilled water yet. Distilled water goes into the gold drum, and from here we can go to the autoclave again. This time, we are making the final catalyst. Shift F3G, Shift F1, everything looks beautiful now. Look at this. Oh my. And we have the zeolite catalyst. That's nice! Nice! Shove it in the machine! Oh, it runs! Very nice! Pressure swing absorber, I love this thing. This thing is the most beautiful machine I've ever seen. Now, I would like to move the nitrogen, probably. At the fu uh, future date, I don't know. But I'll see you all next time, when we do something next.